Harley has just launched the new 2023 Icon Electroglide Highway King. Let's take a look at it and see what's so iconic. Hello and welcome to Road Rush Nation. I'm Terry, your host here, and thank you so much for stopping by and checking out the channel. If you like what you see, please give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to join the nation, it's free. All you need to do is hit that subscribe button. All right, let's get to the latest release from Harley Davidson, the new Icon Electric Glide Highway King. Now, I was a little surprised to see this bike come out since They've been pushing the new modern look, but they've had this Icon collection out for a few years. And this is the third bike in that collection. The first bike in this series came out in 2021, the Electra Glide Revival, which it really looks a lot like the Highway King. This was a limited number edition of 1500. The second bike that they came out with was the 2022 Lowrider El Diablo. And I have to say, I missed that this was an e icon bike series but they limited this also to a 1500 with the new electric glide highway king they're offering two different colors and there's a few more bikes available in this numbers for the they have a hi-fi orange which is limited to a thousand and the hi-fi magenta is limited to 750. let's head over to the harley davidson website and get a little more details on this icon electric glide highway king now just to help you out this was modeled after the 1968 FLH Electric Glide model, so it's, it's got that old feel to it. It's got the laced wheels, the white walls, the wide white walls, and the two-toned windshield, which I'm not really a fan of the two-toned windshields. This reminds me very much of what's on the Heritage currently with the black lower piece. But let's take a look down farther and get more details on this. So here is the Hi-Fi, what they call orange. And the first thing I'm going to notice right here is going to be it's $27,000 for this bike. So be prepared. The limited editions always cost more because there's only so many, right? To me, this is really reminiscent of a chromed out Road King. That's kind of what it reminds me of. But also, if you remember, the original 2021 that had come out the first bike in this electric ride, it looks the same if you look from the from the forks forward that's the only difference the other had the bat wing where this one doesn't um one of my friends happened to mention it goes it looks like they took the leftover parts from that that they didn't use and just stuck them on here even with the seat the seat's the same from that previous edition and it was kind of wow i didn't notice it like that but you know, the more I look at it, the more I can see it. It has the 114, which is fabulous. Glad we have that. Let's check out the magenta and see if it costs any more. And it's the same price. So no matter which one you get, you'll, it's the same price. This color here only comes in 750 available. So if you want the magenta, and I'm gonna be kind of sexist here. I'm gonna say the magenta was focused more on women riders. That's why there's only 750. And the orange, which would be more the guy color, is a thousand of them. That's just my observation, and you know with marketing anymore, you just have to be a little sneaky. So let's take a scroll down and get some more details on this. Somebody else mentioned once, too, that Harley wasn't going to do the Road King this year, and this was kind of the replacement of it. Well, I did some more digging, and guess what? That's not accurate. Here's the 2023 Road King Special, and I just wanted to show you that it does come with a 114 on it that analogy that there isn't a road king this year is inaccurate so if you hear that rumor going around there the road king's out there and it's a 114 the biggest difference is this comes all blacked out it doesn't come chromed so i look at the new icon bike as being the chrome version of the road king with a few extra doodads so let's get to the dimensions which i always like to go through here real quick just to show you what what's on here get the tires it's got a little bit smaller tire it's only got the 16 on these rather than the 18s that's just one thing to to look at the engine of course is going to be your milwaukee 8 114 so you've got that great motor i have it on my 
2021 Street Glide, and I have to say I'm pretty pleased with the 114. I had a 107 with a Stage 2 on it. The pricing is probably the biggest thing. You're going to see that you've got your cruise control, you've got all those, your California emissions are going to get you, your freight is always the extras, and your surcharge. One thing I would compare this bike to is, like I said, the Road King. So that Road King is going for $23,999, $24,000. So you've got $27,000 for the Icon and $24,000 for the Road King. Just something to consider if you're going to look at doing this and picking up the Icon bike. If you're picking it up because it's a, it's a numbered bike, then get it. This doesn't matter to you. But if you're looking at cost-wise and right now with prices, interest rates, you might want to look at this. Also, one of the other factors for the other bike, if you are going to ride two up on this bike, this seat will do you no good. Okay, you're going to have to redo that completely, which is part of the reason you bought the bike is because you want the Icon look. If you're looking for two up, just go with the Road King Special because it's already set up for a two rider. With the price difference, you can put on any extras that you might want. It's not chrome. It's blacked out. It doesn't have some of the iconic look, but it's pretty easy to get these iconic look. You'll, you'll see that a lot of the accessories they put on, you can actually buy in the catalog. So it's up to you on what you're thinking, what you're looking for in a bike. I think it's great. I love the icons. I love the limited edition bikes that they come out with. If you're into this, I would say go to your dealership and snag one quick. I've seen advertisements for the Magenta already at certain dealerships. So get in there if that's one that you're looking for and see if you can find it. You're going to probably end up paying more just because they say there's $27,000. they are probably going to be thirty-two dollars by the time you get done, if not more. Well, I hope you found this interesting and make sure you subscribe because I'm going to be reviewing the new Fast Johnny collection too that has just come out and that will be in another episode. So make sure you like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out. So thank you again for hanging out with me and hopefully you find this interesting ride safe and then we'll catch you next time.